What's going on guys? It's Kyle here and welcome back to another Blu-ray update slash movie collection update slash a new video. Today I have another movie collection update for you guys. Today I went to my favorite place in the world, you guys already know, Disc Replay. And I have this really cool um, reward thing where it's like if you have a $30 purchase or more, um, you get $10 off. So actually it was like $32. Um, 77 but with that reward on there I actually got all six of these movies for 22.57 that's a great price because some of these some of these are crazy man let's start off with the only DVD I picked up that's right guys I picked up a DVD and it is a movie I already own and that is pulp fiction this is a cool collector's edition DVD box set kind of thing it was only three 333 that's right guys three dollars and 33 cents um this thing's kind of cool look at the look at the front it's like she, you can see her the little the little window pulp fiction is one of my favorite movies of all time and is my and is my favorite quentin tarantino film of all time so there's the back look at all the special features so here's the uh, we take it out this is what it looks like very cool i like that a lot actually let's open it up here unless we got some stuff to the side here and all kinds of different pictures on the release so first we got this picture of Jack Rabbit Slims this is the burger place they go to in the movie or um, this is the this is the place where uh, John Travolta's character and Uma Thurman's character goes to in the movie and inside oh it's the menu that's cool it's the menu for uh, the place in the movie that's, that's actually kind of cool and then we got this little booklet here and it looks like we just got some little Things talking about, you got the cast, um, a little newspaper article, the songs in the movie. So yeah, oh, and this little picture of uh, them and two at the restaurant, that's cute. And on the back, we got the scene selection, because this is a very old DVD release. And then here's the front right there, so they're very cool. And then we have actually the inside, which has all kinds of different artwork from the movie. If you have seen the movie, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then we have the two DVD discs right there. Disc one has the film, and there's also a background image, so I'll show you that. Let me just put this somewhere. And um, I like that the, the disc one has John Travolta's character, and then disc two has Samuel L. Jackson's character. I love the movie, but I, cannot, I can never remember their names. But there's uh, the two characters right there, disc one and then disc two. That's kind of cool. And here's actually the full thing of it open like that. So you can see them two in the um, in the DVD slot. So that, that's a very cool release or addition to my collection. And next, on moving on to the Blu-rays, specifically Blu-rays, we have La La Land, one of my all-time favorite movies of last year. Um, great story, great music, great direction, great cinematography. This movie's all around just great. And uh, it's got Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, and I'm glad to own this movie finally on Blu-ray. Here's the front, really cool slipcover, very shiny. Probably can't tell on the on the camera, but or on the video, but there's the back. This is over three hours of special features. Um, that sounds great. So open up here, we just got. I really doubt that this digital works, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. And we have a DVD and a Blu-ray copy, so there we go. Um, unfortunately, they didn't do anything different with the disc art. They just kind of just did one on the Blu-ray and the same thing on the, D on the DVD, which is kind of a lazy way out, but hey, why not? It's, and I got this one for six bucks. Next, we have Hexaw Ridge. Probably my favorite movie of this year. I forgot of that year. I forgot what year this came out. 2016, so this is one of my favorite movies of 2016. Great war film. It says the best war film since Saving Private Ryan. I wouldn't know because I haven't seen that yet, but, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, this movie was great. Uh, Andrew Garfield is really good in this movie, and I didn't think he could act because of what I saw in The Amazing Spider-Man. He just could not act, so, like, this I was really surprised by. So, yeah, this is a really great movie. Here's the front. Got this for six bucks as well. Here's the back. All right, let's just take a look on the inside and we just have oh I got chipped out of my DVD again just got the blu-ray so there's my D, uh, my blu-ray copy and got chipped out of my DVD copy them sons of bitches and next we have Ex Machina now I don't know if you guys know about this movie because this is not really a mainstream movie but um, it's a movie produced by A24 and it has Donald Gleason, Alicia Vikander this is one of Alicia Vikander's first big roles 
So that was a great breakout role for her. And Oscar Isaac. This movie's just so sinister and really creepy in parts. But it's got a great story and the acting is phenomenal. The cinematography, the backgrounds are great. Um, I wouldn't say it's for everybody, but if you do like um, sci-fi, psychological thriller kind of things, this is a great movie for you. So let's just take this off and let's see what we got here. We just have a, uh, a Blu-ray, so that's pretty plain, just a Blu-ray. And then we have the best Christmas movie of all time, Die Hard. Yeah, I know, I'm one of those minority people that think that uh, Die Hard's a Christmas movie, but hey, it kind of is, you know, if you really think about it. Um, if you guys don't know who Die Hard is, what are you doing? This movie's amazing. Anyways, yeah, I, I can't really talk about much about it because uh, it's that's a classic. So here's the front. Got this for five bucks. And I also got Ox Ex Machina for five bucks as well. And here's the back. We just have a Blu-ray and a DVD. I didn't know it was kind of the DVD copy as well. Very cool. And last, but certainly not least, we have... This, oh my god, I have a story about this one. This is the Dark Knight Trilogy, the little mini box set that comes with all three films and a couple other things. There was a bigger box set that was like a limited edition kind of thing that like had a certain amount of things that were sold and you get to like, it gives you a little number um, of how, which one you got sold. But I, I got, this is the mini version of it, so um, it still comes with everything, but it just, it's not the big box set thing. Here's the Jade card if you want to look, take a look at that. The thing about this now is I have two copies of The Dark Knight and then three copies of The Dark Knight Rises, but no copies of Batman Begins, so I will finally try to watch Batman Begins because I know that's one I have not seen. But uh, it's the front, and then there's the back, and inside it comes with some things here. It looks like we got some extra things. Here. Um, yeah, there's, uh, some stuff you need to so it looks like we got a message from Christopher Nolan. I guess this was actually written by him and he signed it. You can. Pause the video if you want to read that. And in here, I'm not sure what these are, but they're sealed up. Let's see what these are real quick here. Looks like we got some just some posters, I think. Uh, quotes from different villains. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that Joker one. That's really cool. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Wow. Deep quote. So this is kind of cool. It's like some little cards that give you the characters and like um, some quotes they've said, so that's kind of cool. And then we have the actual movies itself in this little case right here. Very cool. And uh, it's just it's a Dark Knight trilogy special edition. Comes with Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. So inside we have The Dark Knight. Oh wow, he really mixed up these things. It's supposed to be Batman Begins, and wow, they just really just put these all in random order. How dare they at this replay? It looks like we got the Dark Knight Rises special features first, and then the Batman Begins special features. And then we have the Dark Knight movie, and then the Dark Knight uh, special features. And then we have the Dark Knight Rises movie, and then we have the Dark Knight, uh, oh, like an actual separate disc for the special features of the whole trilogy. So, alright. Oh, Batman Begins has the movie and special features. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, it doesn't tell you what special features are on it because I don't know they had enough room or something like that. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Where are the bees from? It was pink out day today. What? What do you mean? Let me finish my video and I'll check out what's going. All right, guys, that is the video. Here it is once again all the things I got. Hey guys, that is the video. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe. You decide in the comments. Did it surpass the one that I told you was the best one? You decide. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day and peace out.